is how many deals can you make to become financially free? Is it one deal? Is it two deals? Is it three deals per month? Now, how can you become that? How can you get to that? And you're asking like, what do we do about is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you more than 30 years i got my real estate license in the um, and your your origin story is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use that kuka you know I, i'm a little more strict with what i'm i'm looking at uh one of the most common mistakes that people make it, when trying to be financially free is overestimating what they need to be financially free. Everybody thinks I need a million dollars a month to be able to uh, to be able to quit my job or I need a hundred thousand dollars a month to quit my job. You break it down and okay if my current job is making ten thousand dollars a month okay if you're making a hundred grand a year you're making ten thousand dollars a month what do I need in order to replace that income? Is it one deal? Is it two deals? Is it three deals? In some cases, it might be only one or two deals a month. Okay, now how can I work on that and get one to two deals a month? What's your average deal size? Is it five grand? Is it 10 grand? The average uh, wholesale deal in this country is 15 grand per deal in my area in the metro detroit area um, when you're dealing with in detroit you know the, the average is about 10 5 to 10 grand for me personally i average about five grand because i made jv a lot and so that 10 grand gets split up between two people okay so you have to figure out is how many deals can you make to become financially free is it one deal is it two deals is it three deals per month now how can you become that how can you get to that me personally i will not quit my job on just wholesaling alone okay what i will do is, is i will use wholesaling to get to buy and holds now once i have consistent income rental income coming in to replace my income then i will quit my job but until then I will continue doing my day job until I can get the income to replace it, the constant income, not the right now money, okay? So you have to understand that because you quit your job after one month of, uh, of replacing your income for one month, but then the next two to three months you don't get a deal, you have to have that lead flow coming in. If you don't, what are you stuck with? You're stuck with a lot of bills that you can't pay and you already quit your job, okay? So be careful, be methodic, think about everything, don't just jump into it. This is me telling you, I still work my day job. I still work this and we still do this on the side. The reason why is I treat it like a full-time job, okay? So technically for me, I have two full-time jobs. I have my day job, my nine to five, and I have my wholesaling business as well as my, I, I want to call it my investing business because I'm going to eventually do some buy and holds. I'm going to eventually do some flips, things of that nature. So by all means, think about what you need, write it down. For some reason, people, when you write it down and you see it in front of you, instead of just thinking about it, it, it has a lot more meaning. Write your stuff down what you're going to do, your deal flow, and go from there. See you on the next video. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.